boom, boom. Just getting ready to go back to the channel. All right, we got a little bit of Soul Land Reloaded up today. So let's go ahead and jump right into what we got going on because it's really not a whole bunch. Uh, so we just got finished uh, off of uh, last week. We had some pools, Divine Pools. Uh, I went ahead and did the pools on that. I got a few more shards for Chen, but I still haven't got enough. I Hopefully, I'll get him on the next uh, set of... Uh, uh, the next divine pool set, which should be the end of next week sometime. Uh, so, or I should say not end of next week, but the big middle of the following week after, because they usually run them about two, week, uh, two weeks apart. We don't have any um, desktop events, uh, meaning the little icon that's the box that you see right up here. Uh, don't have anything going on uh, like that. We do have some stuff in time limited. Uh, a couple of events we got. A divine tool event and a hidden weapon event. So we've got two events going on inside of there. Um, I spent, I had like fifty thousand diamonds this morning. I'm down to like eight. I uh, spent like eighteen thousand diamonds because, as you know, divine tools, uh, divine tool um, events are especially expensive due to the fact that they they put a pretty good price uh, on those uh, the amount that they charge for those. So for the shards. So. Uh, yeah, ended up spending uh, uh spending about eighteen thousand just on those uh, events. Uh, uh, more of course on the divine tool than I did on the hidden weapon, but they had them both at the same time, so it is what it is. I expect we'll be seeing some new events here uh, in the following week. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Just those two basic events. As you can see, I'm up to five hundred ninety-five, so I will be hitting six six hundred billion here uh, sometime probably. Um, I would say it'll probably be sometime, probably not next week. It's weird. Once I get my hands on Chen, I'll most likely hit um, 600 billion. Because uh, once I move him in and start building him up, I'm going to have a lot of, uh, going to get a lot of points for that. As well as the uh, uh, the Soul Power uh, Tower inside of the actual, uh, inside the, uh, the Marshall Soul Link down here. Uh, the Soul Force Trials. Uh, it's out of the Soul Force Summon. Uh, that is probably going to uh, not this, uh, change, not the Soul Force Summon. The um, I think I passed it. It's the trial. Trial. Domains. Marshall Soul Treasure. There it is. Fused Soul Power. I need to go one more spot over. Uh, the Fused Soul Power. I'm going to be able to boof, uh, move it into this. Because as you can see right now, I have several um, triple S characters in there. So once I get my hands on um, Chen, he's an SP, I'll be able to move him into this. Uh, and that's going to bump me up quite a bit. Uh, and I'll probably hit 600 uh, just from that alone. Uh, you usually get a pretty big boost when you hit something in the Fuse Soul Power. Uh, so Because it's adding a whole new character in. Uh, with a much more powerful character with a much more uh, much larger upside so I'll probably hit 600 just from that uh, but we'll see uh, so we'll be looking for that uh, but yeah I'm going to be moving Chen in as the fourth on my team here be replacing Hugh and Hugh will go and be the AOE for uh, the second team uh, but I'll have a completely SP main team and I'll have a couple SPs well one SP on the secondary team and the rest of them will be uh, triple S high powers though so it should be doing a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, should see damage increased greatly. Uh, Chen's got a, Chen does a lot of damage as well too. Um, if, he, if you know, it's really, like I said, it's really difficult to do so difficult to do any type of you know tier list for this because you can get all of the characters. Um, but if you're going to focus on them, they, they generally go with BB Dong is the most powerful character in the game right now um, in global. She does the most damage. It's fast damage and sustained damage with her spiders. Um, so she's definitely the one you want to get. And, of course, she was the last character. So the only way to get char uh, charged for her is through the Divine Pools, which we have every couple of weeks. Uh, the chest for uh, the chest for BB Dong and Chen, as far as I know, doesn't exist. Uh, those are the last two characters, by the way, Chen and BB Dong. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so really the only way to get them is through the divine pools they're not in the soul forge uh you would think that's generally where we see chests come out ahead of time is in the soul forge uh so if you want to get those two characters you're gonna to have to do it the old-fashioned way and that's through the pools 
um, which is what I'm doing. I still need like I think 30 to go for uh, for Chen. Um, but yeah, so I would go. BB Dong is the most powerful. Okay, uh, the second most powerful is Wu and Chen. They are roughly about the same. Uh, a lot of it depends on what you're looking for. Um, you know, the thing about Chen is the fact that his chest is not out yet, which means the only way to get shards for him is through the pools. Okay, while the chest for Wu, Wu was the second character introduced in the game, or in the SP, Tears? No, third, I'm sorry. She was, it was Tang San, Ma Hong John, then Wu. There's a lot Wu chests are out there. All, you find a lot of Wu chests. Plus, Wu is available in the daily. If you do your daily um, inside the store, theater, and do your standard get ticket, this is the Wu chest. It's the three chest. This has Maha, this has Tang San, Divine King Tang San, Divine King Mahajong, and Divine King Wu inside of here. Okay, so even though Chin and Wu are roughly the same. Chen might even be a little bit more powerful simply because of the fact that he was just introduced. Usually the last two characters in the class are a little bit more powerful than the previous ones. But the fact of the matter is you can't get shards for uh, Chen on a consistent basis. The only way to get it is in the pools every two weeks and you're not going to get that many. While the chests, you can get, you can go to town on Wu and make Wu stronger. So I consider her to actually be the, ch the character that you should probably go for. Uh, and the second thing is, you can see I've already got her up to God 2. Okay? So that's why, you know, you, you, you want to do that. Uh, the chest for, you know, the, the shards for Chen are just not available. You're not going to be able to bring up his God status very fast. Okay, so that you have to look at it like that. So if you want to build up BB Dong or Chen, building them both, you're going to have to spend money. And you're going to spend quite a bit of it purchasing pools. And hopefully you get lucky. Um, so that's the only way to get charged for them. So um, choose BB Dong. And she, as you can see, she's my focus. Once I get Chen, I'm going to jump back to focusing on building the God status for BB Dong. And then I'll build up Chen on an ins uh, isolated level. Um, and then hopefully with a chest will come out. I would have expected, you would have expected right now, if they were paying attention to the game, that they would have introduced it in a reward, at least in the Soul Forge. Okay. No, you didn't have to do the, the standard Soul Forge chest, which is you can get 150 shards at one shot. I mean, I literally built Ma Hong Jung out of the Soul Forge. <laughs> I think I did one pull for him is all I needed. I, in one visit to the Soul Forge, I got all the shards I needed for him. Uh, so... You know, but yeah, we haven't seen BB Dong and Chen shards as of yet. So that's what you're going to have to work. Uh, so I consider Wu to be, you know, Chen might be a tad bit more powerful, but Wu is probably the one you want to go for simply because you can build her faster. Get more God status, get more damage uh, and whatnot. Okay. Um, third, uh, Wu or Chen, whoever you want to place it, I'm going to say Chen simply because of that fact, is probably a little bit better than Tang San. But again, Tang San was the first character introduced. He's a very good character, very powerful, and you can build him faster. Okay, I've already got him up to God 3. Okay, so keep that in mind. Again, Chen, you can't build Chen very fast. If you got both Chen and BB Dong, you're not going to be able to build, one, but build them at the same time because there's just not chess for them unless you're going to be spending some money. We don't spend money. Okay, so that's the way it goes. All right. So, either how you want to put Tang San or Chen, uh, third or fourth, again, up to you, okay? So, then fourth, we're probably going to put Chen in there either way. So, BB Dong, Wu, Tang San, Chen, okay? In terms of, if you could build them all at the same time, saying that all the chests were introduced, it would probably be BB Dong, Chen, Wu, and Tang San. But since you can't build Chen... Uh, or you can't build BB Dong, and you want to build BB Dong because she's a, a complete beast. Um, you can't really build Chen. So that's why I'm saying fourth. That's what I'm going to do is introduce him into the team fourth. Okay? Uh, if he can beat Hugh, which I'm sure he'll be able to. Okay, so uh, after that. After that, it, it gets to the point uh, of what you need. Okay? 
Okay, what do you need in your team? If you're doing PvP, you're going to need a tank. Okay. Um, to be blunt, the tanks are the, the best tank of the game is is Ren. Okay, SP Ren. Okay, best healer in the game, SP. Wrong, wrong. Okay. Uh, last, Mahong Jong. He does AOE damage. He doesn't do that much damage. He's not a very good character. Um, I got him simply because I didn't have to build him at the time. Okay. Um, I run four. You know, but if you're if you're playing the game like I am and you're not trying to do anything, you know, in PvP except keep like in the top 50 or something, which is what I'm trying to do, then four attackers is a fine run. You shouldn't have any trouble. None of these guys ever die. And nothing. They've never died. Okay, I even get through in the sect, uh, the sect uh, uh, tournament, which is you should be uh, participating in on a weekly basis. Uh, I'll give you the name here just so you can get it. Uh, it's in the sect, and it is called the Tyrant's Nest. Uh, they don't even die in this. They, they, um, uh, earlier characters might die in this consistently, but once you get pretty powerful, they don't. They're able to tank the damage that the, uh, the Tyrant is dealing out. Um, so it's not really much. All the SP characters have built-in survivability into their actual kit. Um, in some cases, it's quite literally built into the base of the character, such as it was for Tang San. Um, so dying is not something that uh, survivability is pretty much usually close to the maximum top of the charts. Um, so they don't die. Now, if you're doing PvP, you're going to need probably going to need either a shield or a healer if you want to progress. But you're going to have to spend a lot of money because their levels are just so uh you know massive uh, in terms of what the you know these guys are spending a lot of money um i assume uh if you go look at your, your the arena on your particular server we're, i'm a newer server so it's not un uncommon that that we're going to be looking at this um but um you know if you look at the top uh, it's yeah, it's Buka. He's in Divine Flame. He's in my uh, guild, of course. As is uh, Corellius, as is uh, Ares Jordan, as is Saku, as is Deji, as is Noble Case. These are all in my. I'm in the Divine Flame sect. We are the dominant sect on this uh, server. When when we combined with um, we combined with uh, uh, another sect, or I'm sorry, another server, uh, C45 did. We combined. Um, so a bunch of people from Fairy Tale, uh, and there was a bunch of many serv. We had a bunch of you know miscellaneous guilds through there um shadow flame shadow barge you know uh and fairy tale came on uh, and there was another i can't remember what the name of the other one was but they were a little bit below fairy tale so we decided to beat fairy tale. so all the sects left dissolved their sex and they all joined divine flame <laughs> so now divine flame completely dominates the server um so um, it makes for exceedingly impressive uh, soul forest, soul beast forest uh, things because we'll have like the first five will be maxed out. So we, we do get good soul beast rewards. But yeah, so but as you can see these these numbers, okay, you know, 38,928, I'm barely at 600. So, you know, there's no, absolutely no way I'm going to be able to complete with these guys. So I don't even try to, you know, I don't have the thousands of dollars needed to do that. I'm at 62. Okay, I try to keep within the top 50. Uh, the weekend's coming up. I'll fight my way up. I might be able to, no. I, I don't see I'm going to be able to get any higher. I'll probably be able to get close to 50. Um, but it, the 43 is at 638, which is probably not going to be beatable, although it might be. We'll just have to see. Uh, but I try to keep it like in the 50. That's where my goal is. I can usually hover between 40 and 50 somewhere. So that's probably where I'll try to get. And I try to do it on the weekend. But I, yeah, other than that, I don't focus on it because it's simply not something that's uh, realistic, um, something that I can realistically compete with um, considering, uh, you know, the way these games are tailored, uh, uh, depending on how much money you spend. So I don't worry about that. If you're not going to worry about this, then you can just straight up go for attackers and get the most damage that you can and you want to do that because your rewards are higher when you get uh, higher damage uh, and placements in, inside the tournaments and whatnot um, so you definitely want to make sure that you uh, you know focus on dealing out as much damage okay um, since we're since my sect is number one we always win the sect tyrant nest so I always you know at the end of that season I always get you know seven or eight thousand 
diamonds for that. Uh, we always win the Soul Beast, uh, the um, uh, the delivery. Uh, what's it called? The speed run. We always win this. That's like three or four thousand uh, each week. Uh, so you know, I have a steady a steady flow of diamonds coming in. Um, but um, yeah, so four characters. So yeah, I would say you know to, you know go BB Dong. Okay, I would suggest going Wu. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know if Chen a base Chen is better than uh, a maxed out Tang San, but he's probably not. Uh, even though Chen is probably going to be a little bit more powerful than the rest of them, because it's, it's always the last two. So Chen and Bibi Dong are going to be the most too powerful from a base standpoint. Once I get Chen, see how he fits in, see how he plays. But I'm assuming that a Tang Sian with like a God 3 or God 4 or God 5 is probably going to be a little bit more powerful than Chen because you're not going to be able to be Chen in any of the God status, okay? Um, so that's why I'm saying that. But he's a good character, okay? If you decide, if you don't like BB Dong and you don't want to do BB Dong, then yeah, go Chen because you can focus on trying to build him. Okay, but yeah, so I'll go BB Dong, Wu, uh, Tang San Chen or Chen Tang San, which if you're going to spend some money, if you're willing to spend whatever you need to, you should go BB Dong, Chen, Wu, and Tang San, okay? Uh, because you'll be able to spend money uh, and buy pools so that you can start building the God status on both BB Dong and Chen, okay? But that's going to cost you a lot of money if you want to do that, just uh, just so you understand that, okay? Because those uh, the pools during the Bibles are not cheap. All right, so that's where we're at with that. So that's the tier list that a lot of people have been asking. Triple uh, S characters. Triple um, S characters. Uh, the last character introduced was who? She is the most powerful of the triple S characters. Okay. Second most powerful is really, this is where it gets really subjective on the triple S characters because the triple S characters are not the highest level tier characters anymore and everybody can get SP you should be building your team with SP characters uh, this is not like a game where you can't get the SP characters so the SSS characters are super important it's not like that every two weeks you're gonna have a chance if you can scrape up 10,000 diamonds you're gonna have a chance to pull for an SP character okay so you you will get them eventually it might take you three or four weeks but you'll get it or three or four which will be six to eight weeks, but you're going to get it, okay? So, but who's the most powerful, okay? Um, uh, Damage-wise, you want to go for Hugh, and you want to go for Zoo, okay? Zoo is exceedingly powerful as well, too. After that, you can start focusing on uh, Lu Gao. Um, pretty good. Um, more, of a, more of a, he's a warrior, more of a type, so single tank. Uh, you get a little bit of buff out of him as well, too. Um, if you're looking for a tank, uh, Enming is, in my, in, you know, considered to be the best uh, tank from the Triple S. Okay, um, and then uh, Ling Ling is an uh, excellent healer. Okay, um, Evil Eye Diamond is he's not bad. He was the first character introduced, which is why, as you can see, I've already got him at God Four. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage. But he does survive well. The problem with the the problem with the dies previously where they died quick. <laughs> uh, they just didn't have any survivability. I thought the same thing was going to happen when they came out with because the first character they introduced in the SS pluses was die. Okay, he was the first character they introduced. Okay, um, and he just died fast. I mean, he he you know he was dead real fast. <laughs> just could not survive at all. Horrible character. Um, they just didn't build him properly, considering what what was part in the game. Uh, they fixed everything about that in Evil Eye Die Boom. S Triple S. Excellent survivability. Um, he just doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but he's a really good starter character, and you can max him out. But uh, you know, the other characters are just better. They've just got more upside. Um, even the ones I haven't built yet, which are the Shark um, and Oscar. Uh, Oscar's an excellent healer. Uh, the, the reason I like Ling Ling a little bit over Oscar, even though Oscar was released right before Hugh, so he's probably a little bit more powerful, is the fact that Oscar's pretty much um, it does a lot of healing. Okay, He does some buffing too, but not much. 
Ling Ling does a lot of buffing as well. Okay, so, but Oscar does a little bit of damage too. Not much, but a little. So you can get that. Uh, and then Shark, Shark, she's an excellent character. Uh, um, uh, but, you know, I would, you know, she's not one that you want to focus on for building unless you really want to focus on PvP. Um, she has a really good staple inside of PvP. But again, you can get SP characters, so you should be using SP characters even in PvP. All right. So that's why it's really not that important on an SSS tier, mate, tier list. Uh, but if you do want to go for it, um, Q should be the one that you go for. Um, she's the most powerful. Okay. Uh, and then if you want to go for attacking, you want to get Zoo. She goes hate to, you know, she does excellent damage. Okay. Um, and then you're looking for healing, you know, you want to go Ling Ling and Oscar. Uh, either or, both, are, both do good healing. One does a little bit. One has a little bit better support set than the other. Um, so that's why I, I, I chose Ling Ling a little bit. Plus, um, she's easier, you know, I would got her. She was earlier introduced, so I've had a chance to start building her uh, before, you know, had a chance for Oscar. Um, so that's why we got. And then after that, um, yeah, it's just whichever one. But it's not really that important. You should be focusing on the SP characters, okay? Um, and, you know, if you need a tank, SP Ren, you need a healer. Um, SP Oscar would be your, your was it Oscar? I think it was no, it was for the healing. It was uh, um, wrong, wrong. I'm sorry, SP wrong, wrong uh, for healing uh, and for tank. Uh, Ren, those are the two best healers and tanks in the game, right? Here. Okay, and you can get them, not fast, but you can get them. Uh, so that's why it's really difficult to do tier listing. Uh, you know, tier listing generally has uh, the fact that you. This is the good character that you want to try to get, but you can't get that character because it's restricted or you didn't get the lucky pools. So you get another character and you want to try to evaluate how good that character is. Uh, that really does not apply in this game because when the pools are up, you can choose the character you want to go for. <laughs> okay, so, you know, BB Dong, uh, you know, as just what I've described to you would be the way that I would go about doing it. Okay, uh, so that's that's where we're at on that particular point. So I wanted to clear that up. Uh, so we should be having some events come up here in a day or two. Um, so we'll do another video when that happens. But I did want to do that because I had a lot of people still requesting tier list, uh, and, and, and you know I'm trying to explain tier lists really aren't that helpful in in this game because you can get all the characters eventually. Uh, they don't restrict anything. So it's you know, it, but yeah, I would go for BB Dong. If you're willing to spend money, you can go for Chen. If you're not, then I would go Wu, Tang San, then Chen. If you're going to spend money, BB Dong, Chen, Wu, Tang San. Okay? After that, it depends on PvP. If you're going to go PvP, then you're going to need an SP Ren, uh, and you're probably going to want an SP Rong Rong for healing. Okay? So, because in PvP, you're probably going to go with one tank, two attackers, and a healer. Okay? Um, so, that, you know, you'd want to put, ideally, you'd want to put Ren at the forefront. Tackers would probably be, I would go with um, BB Dong, and I would go with probably Chen, if you could max him out, um, as your attackers. Uh, and then, of course, for healing, you would do wrong, wrong. That would be a standard PvP best chance team. Uh, like I say, but if you're not going to do PvP, just go four straight attackers. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going, you know, BB Dong. Wu, Tang San, and I'm going to put Chen in once I get him done up. Right now I got Hugh in there, but she'll be going to the second team once I build Chen. But it's going to take a long time to build Chen because, as I said, they have not released that max chest yet. Uh, I will definitely do a happy video whenever they do release that, no matter when, but, yeah, still haven't seen it. Should have a Soul Forge event here coming up early next week. Uh, hopefully they'll do something. Um, but so far there's been a lot of silence uh, which does not bode well for the SSP characters, which are out on the Chinese server. Um, I don't know when they're going to be coming to global. We'll have to see about that. But yeah, still no word on that in a definitive. Um, I keep hearing spring, which means sometime within the next few months. But I can't, don't hold me to that. Just could be wishful thinking. Um, it's worrisome that they have not introduced a mass chest yet for a max chest for the SP characters. Um, I guess they're trying to hold everybody back 
uh, and building up those two characters, which is unfortunate. But we'll see, uh, and we'll let you know when that happens. Other than that, that's all I got. So, uh, as always, remember to click on the like button to show that you like uh, the video. Of course, subscribe. You know, subscribing will get an email, let you know when I drop out videos. Uh, and we'll s get them on there as quick as we can, and we will start doing some... Uh, we're going to start breeding some other stuff into the channel. Uh, probably a little bit of maybe Azur Lane uh, is what I was thinking about doing because that's really one of the only games that I've been consistently playing besides Soul Land on a consistent basis. Um, uh, so maybe start putting a little bit of uh, Azur Lane into the thing because they're really starting to get some interesting stuff happen. Uh, and they've got some new content, which is interesting as well. Um, so uh, I'll probably start bleeding some of that in. Try to do maybe two or three videos a week. Uh, just, uh, you know, uh, one or two videos on uh, Azure Lane and one or two videos on Soul Land uh, on a little bit more a consistent basis because, uh, you know, Soul Land's in sort of a holding pattern, so to speak. Uh, I didn't want to get start throwing other content on the channel and then Soul Land pick up and then not being able to do it, but that's apparently not happening. Can't hold off any longer. So I'll probably start bringing some of that on uh, and we'll go from there, all right? Uh, but anyway, again, subscribe to the channel and uh, put a like on the channel if you do like the content. And you can shoot me up for questions in the uh, uh, the comments if you want. All right, this is Kenrir, still coming at you from the corner, signing out.